at 5.30. Mourners gathering today to remember a little boy gone too soon. Six-year-old Devin Swow lost his battle with a rare form of brain cancer. That little boy from Framingham touched and inspired just about everyone he met. His parents started the Why Not Devin campaign, hoping to find a cure. Now his community is making sure he will never be forgotten. WBZ's Paul Burton is live for us in Sudbury tonight, where Devin's wake is underway. Paul? And I can tell you that it's an incredible show of outpouring of love and support here for a young boy who touched so many lives. People have been gathering here at the church here all day, and they're finding it very, very difficult to say goodbye. He's just that exuberant child that's always, you know, being, you're drawn to him. Lorelai Capuzzi says that's the type of personality and charisma Devin Swow shared with the world in his six short years of living. On Monday, hundreds were drawn to St. Anselm's Church in Sudbury to pay their respects to a young boy who gave so much of himself, never gave up, and made everyone laugh. And then I'm just going to sit here and do nothing. <laughs> with his family by his side, Devin lost his battle with a rare form of childhood cancer called DIPG. Over the last nine months, it's been a village, it's been a country, it's been international. And if people could just continue to spread awareness for DIPG and and that someday there will be a cure and kids won't have to go down this horrific path. Today, dozens of school children dressed in their Why Not Devon Green t-shirts also came to pay their respects. The Why Not Devon campaign went viral and even touched the hearts of many celebrities like Tom Brady. Marine Master Sergeant Eugene Bryant helped raise money for Devon in the fight against DIPG. And I promise you this, that every single thing that I do from here on out, I will be thinking about him. Capuzzi says she will miss all the sweet ways Devin made everyone feel you were a part of his world. Seeing him play with my children and um, more importantly from the day that I met Christine, he's been in her arms. And so seeing that void in my friend, um, I don't know how it can be filled. The wake will continue through 8 o'clock tonight. Devin's funeral will be held here tomorrow at St. Anselm's Church at 10 a.m. Reporting live in Sudbury, I'm Paul Burton, WBC News.